Hello everyone, you're watching your full guide to Sorbstat, a series of videos where I explain everything there is to know about Sorbstat. In the previous videos, I've shown you how to create a project, how to work with domain analysis, URL analysis, and how to work with keyword research. This video will be about backlink analysis. To start analyzing backlinks, you want to decide which website's backlinks you want to check. So it starts pretty much the same as domain analysis. You have to enter a website you want to research. You can enter a website in the Sorbstat search bar or you can go to your list of projects if you created a project for your own website and get to the backlinks reports from there. To find information about backlinks, go to the menu on the left and to the backlink analysis dashboard. Backlink analysis dashboard is pretty much the same as overview page for domain analysis or keyword research. You have a shortened version of all of the domain's information about backlinks here, so let's take a look at it. At the top here we have information about the number of referring domains, referring pages, total number of referring pages that are indexed by Google, number of referring IPs and subnets, information about price backlinks from .edu and .gov websites, and flow metrics, Sorbstat PageRank and Sorbstat TrustRank. PageRank depends on how many websites link to the website you're analyzing, and TrustRank depends on how many of those websites are trustworthy. Below the first block you have the graph which shows you how the number of referring pages is changing over time, so you can see that the number of backlinks is growing for wpbeginner.com. Below this graph we have information about new and lost backlinks and new referring domains. On the first graph you see how many backlinks the website acquiring and losing. On the second graph you can see how the number of new domains linking to a website is changing over time. Important thing is at this graph the number of backlinks to domain is not dropping. What is changing is the number of new domains that are linking to WP Beginner. So everything about zero is positive addition to your website's backlink profiles. The difference is that in June this year WP Beginner got 3000 new domains linking to it and in September it only got 283 domains linking to it. It doesn't mean that WP Beginner is losing backlinks. And below these two graphs we have list of anchors. So that's everything you have on the overview page or backlinks dashboard. Let's move on to the menu on the left and see what information we can get from it. First item is the list of referring domains. Here you can see what websites link to the WP Beginner, what is the Alexa rank, what is the flow matrix. If you're analyzing your competitors' backlink profiles, this is where you have to look for a website to get backlinks from. You can export the list and sort them by page rank and trust rank and find the perfect backlink opportunities for your website. Apart from flow metrics and Alexa rank, we also show how many pages from a certain website link to the website you're analyzing, so you can check that information as well. Next on our list is the feature called backlinks. This is where you can get more detailed information on the backlink profile of a website. This information is updated daily, so you can see how many new backlinks the website is getting every day or how many backlinks it's losing. And below these graphs, you have a list of URLs linking to your website. In the new backlink section, you have all of the pages that link your website and information about those pages, such as Sorbstat page rank, Sorbstat trust rank. You can see what page links to what page on the website you're analyzing, and you can see the link type. Also, you can see when the link was first indexed by Sorbstat and get update on its status. If we find a backlink and then when updating its status we don't find it, we move it to the lost backlinks list. If you're analyzing your own website, you have to keep an eye on this list. And if you see that some of your backlinks are missing, you have to go and solve that problem. You can export both of these reports and work with them in spreadsheets. Or to see more information about backlinks, you can just expand the list here and switch between the pages. Next item in our menu is the anchors list. This is where you can see what text is used as an anchor on the backlinks of a website. And you can also see how to work with anchors for your website by analyzing successful competitors. The information you get here is the number of domains referring with a certain anchor, number of pages ranking with that anchor, number of new and lost backlinks, and the flow metrics. Up here you can toggle the anchor cloud and see what words are used as anchors more often for a website, and as usual you can export this report and work with it in a spreadsheet. The last item in our backlink analysis menu is top pages. It shows you the list of pages from the website you're analyzing that get the most backlinks. This feature is great for competitor analysis because you can see what content on their website draws the most backlinks to them, analyze that content and try and create similar one to get more backlinks. You get the same information here as you get in other backlink reports, number of referring domains, number of referring pages and flow metrics. And as usual you can export it and work with it in spreadsheet. So that's it about the backlink analysis. Now you know where to find this information and how to work with it. In the next video I will tell you about the rank tracker, I will show you how to create a project and how to work with these features. So don't miss it. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.